is raging here on Galileo. Visibility is down about zero. Space explorers between lines in three, two, one, go! T-179 moving at the speed of light over to the Grand Alliance rocket ship. Their alliance partners quickly making work on the cargo ship for the Reliance Blue. Trying to place game pieces into the middle of the field. T-4488 will do so successfully. 30-27, Blue Alliance in the lead. Remember, this Blue Alliance Alliance number eight needs to win this to move on to the semifinals. Team 498 will try their best to stop that from happening. They're going to play defense against Team 1102 out of Augusta, Georgia. 4488 with another hatch panel plays for the Blue Alliance on the rocket ship. 1102 doing the same on the near side of the field. Your Blue Alliance now in the lead, 46 to 35. They're already halfway to completing their cargo ship. Children of the Swamp doing the same for the Red Alliance. Five of their hatches have now been completed. Team 971, fantastic team out of Mountain View, California. Using their suction cup system to work on the Red Alliance rocket ship on the near side of the field. No defense being played there. Children of the Swamp still having a little bit of a murky time. Scoring in the cargo ship, but finding a way to make it work. 10-point lead for Alliance number 8 in blue as we approach one minute to go in this quarterfinal match. Team 498 still playing defense over the near side of the field. Trying to prevent 29-28 Viking Robotics from scoring. Team 179, the Floridian Machine. Still playing on the far side of the field, trying to complete that Red Alliance rocket ship. They're now boosted into the lead. Five point, five point lead for your Red Alliance. And it's growing as you approach the last few seconds of the match. Team 971, Spartan Robotics make a climb for the Red Alliance. One of their Alliance partners joining them, Blue Alliance with a little over 10 seconds left to go, has two of their Blue Alliance robots onto the platform. Team 179 and 971 are both on the level three platform for the Red Alliance with two seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Red Alliance with the win. A score of 100 to 75. Both alliances had won one match each, which means we will have a tiebreaker at the end of